What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute. It has been a long minute. It's been over three months since I have touched Dead Rising 2, but I never gave up on the series. Like I just said, if you watched a video I made called The Truth, I pretty much explain why I've barely uploaded. But I think it's about time we set this channel back on set. Uh, what? What? I, I don't know. I can't fucking speak. I think it's time to get this channel back on track. It's time to start uploading again. It's time to start getting more consistent. Shut up, phone. It's time to actually start doing what we gotta do. And I think we gotta finish up this Dead Rising 2 series to move on to other series. Now, I don't exactly recall where I've been. I will figure it out, clearly. Now, obviously, I'm level 50. I do recall that. I also have these nerds candies. and My god, they're bossing, bossing. There. I'm turning my phone off. Hold on. Holy shit. Like. Anyway. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I've been getting some notifications about my job at FedEx. It's a little weird. It is what it is, though. So. I gotta remember the controls, because I have not played this for a minute. I do not want to drop that. That is one of my most valuable weapons. I think it's one of these buttons that puts up my watch, right? No? 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 no. Okay. T. Okay, T. So we got Katie Zombrex. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. So, we have time. We have a little bit of time to kill. Maybe go kill a few zombies here and there. I am okay with that. Let's do that. And uh, then we'll come back in when it says it's, it's time and... You know, do whatever the fuck, blah, blah, blah. I also got my microphone closer to my mouth so you can actually hear me because I noticed in the uh, last video I made, which was a break in tier list, which I was quite proud of that. I I came back with an absolute banger of a video that I recorded over an hour worth of footage. And I even listened to some jams trying to get some more people into the hyper pop genre because it is an absolute bop. Break -ins is like a top tier artist, whether anybody likes that or not. Now, that is obviously subjective, but I'm going to stick with what I personally feel, whether anybody else likes that or not, so. If you're in tri What the fuck? Oh, it's just a cutscene that shows it's, like, nighttime and the zombies are more rowdy or whatever, you know? Kill a few zom zoms here and there. Die. All of you. Die. Die. All of you can die. Um... I don't know for sure. It says we got two Zombrex, but I think there is, like, one location. And I don't recall if I've gotten the Zombrex from there or not. If I have, then, um, clearly I'm stupid. But if I haven't, then maybe this is worth the little venture. So we're going to go up here on top of all these lights. Go to the other side of the building. And, uh, when we do that, uh, there should be a cartridge of Zombrex up there. And if it's not the Zombrix I want, then the money is at least somewhat worth it. Because I have 304 grand in total plus right now in this game. Voila, voila. Get out of my way. Alright, here we go. So this platforming shit kind of sucks if you don't know what you're doing, to be honest. But luckily, I am a platforming god. 100%. Like, I am just above everyone else who does platforming. Look at that. I don't even need to slow down. I'm just built different. Son of a bitch. So in case you haven't noticed, that was a utter complete lie. I am not a god at platforming. I need to focus. And if I don't focus, then I manage to fuck up. And uh, if anybody has watched my uh, content for quite some time, I think everyone knows I'm quite prone to fucking up or being slower than a lot of other content creators. I just got to push that confidence for it. I got I to gotta boost that ego. I got to stroke it, you know? All right, got to be a little bit more careful here. Okay, so I have got the Zombrix up here. I am kind of, I, I am kind of stupid, no cap, but the money's worth it. And the broadsword, I guess, is cool. And I might give this to Katie, because I can get some prestige points. Not that the prestige points really mean shit right now, because like I said, I'm fully leveled up. But I might as well. I don't see an issue. I'm gonna have another one of these nerd bites. God, they're good. It's like they're. A little tart. A little sour. But they're super fruity. Super flavorful. And they don't taste like shit, so... 
I tolerate them. Nonetheless, enjoy them. It is a lovely candy. If I were to make a candy tier list, I'd hope they'd be on there. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm on my way back. Shut the fuck up. All right. Skip, because I'm getting Katie her stuffed rabbit. Or can I not give her her stuffed rabbit? I, I'm gonna fucking go into the room. Cutscene's gonna happen, and my teddy bear's gonna disappear, and this little venture was literally for nothing. I mean, if that's the case, I, I, I completely understand that for sure. It's, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can give her her stuffed animal, though. Only time can tell. Gonna walk in the room, right? Yep, my teddy bear's gone. That was for nothing. She just fell asleep. I'm just a little worried about her. The stress of all this, along with that horrible medicine. It's a lot for a little girl. When this is all over, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this up to her. Hey, what was that? It looks like something's going on at the entrance to this maintenance tunnel. Can't quite tell for sure, but it looks like someone is moving equipment or something. It looks pretty organized. It's a lead. The only one we've got. It could be whoever's doing this to us. Listen. It's none of my business. But... What? Nothing. Just... Be careful, okay? For her sake. When you two gonna kiss already? God damn. Now I like how Stacy is. Oh, you can give her. Oh shit. I thought I was gonna drop it for some fucking reason. There you go. I, I hope I made it up to you for all this bullshit, Katie. Thank you, Daddy. You are so welcome, sweetheart. I hope you enjoy your stuffed animal. And I'm gonna... I forgot I brought Snowflake back here. You know, the big-ass fucking tiger right here. What's up, Snowflake? How you doing? Tamed you with some of that delicious steak. She's like, man, that shit was bustin' bustin' for real, Grandma. Bustin' bustin' for real, Grandma. Ma. <laughs> The only reason I said that is because I thought of something my friend uh, Paige said, where she um, she was talking shit about me, and we say that we do that as a joke. Don't take it seriously. Like we talk shit about each other, and she looked at me one time, and she just made me like bust up laughing because I didn't expect it, and I spit water out, and it like came through my nose. She looked at me, and she was like, "You're the kind of person to be like this apple pie busting for real, for real, Grandma Ma. Thanks for real, for real." <laughs> And I, I just started choking on water, spit it through my nose, and I don't know why I thought it was so fucking funny when it was, like, super cringe. But, regardless, it was funny. Nice tits, lady. Anyway. Yeah, I don't... I don't know why they did that. Probably sex appeal to the, to the player base if you're an older player. You notice shit? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my God. I don't want to break these weapons. These weapons are going to come in handy later on. I'm in a very good mood today. I'm feeling uh, quite energized. Feeling quite hyper. Quite... Oh my god. Oh god. My eyes are itching because there's hair in my eyes. My hair is growing in length once again. Just like at the beginning of the channel. I had, uh, I had some fairly long hair. And then it got short for a while. And now it's starting to grow out again. And it's starting to make my eyes itch whenever I record. And you know, that's... Uh, it's no fun. It's no fun when, when your eye, hair is in your eye. But it's whatever. We gotta go to the Atlantica Casino. I don't know what that meant. Oh, once bitten. We could take care of that on the way back. That's really not difficult to take care of at all. Bitch! No one said you could bite me without my permission. Buy me dinner first. Seriously, man. The uh, no, none of these zombies have any etiquette. No, no proper kindness from the bottom of their hearts. They just only care about digging in. Like I'm, I'm not a slut that you just can throw around. Buy me dinner first before you sink your teeth into me. Then we'll talk. 
Okay, okay. Um, we want money. Yes, we do. Get off of me. I want this mon mon. Thank you. Uh, yeah. We don't need to worry about one spitting right now. We have plenty of time to do that. But I want to get this story mission out of the way. That way we can move on to some side missions and uh, have a good time, I guess. Uh, I also noticed, like, uh, with the Dead Rising 2 playthrough that I've done so far, the episodes have been shorter from when I did the um, Dead Rising 1 playthrough. Because uh, I noticed I made those, like, the Dead Rising 1 playthrough content that I created was, like, an hour long each video. Maybe longer. And I think the final episode was, like, nearly two hours. But uh, I haven't done anything like that for Dead Rising 2, and I might start it just for the fun of it. Also, to get some more content up in this bitch, if you know what I'm saying. As you can see, we got more Playboy posters, you know. Gotta have the sex appeal for your older male audience. Don't touch me. That is sexual assault, and I will report you to the authorities. Okay, so we're pretty close to where we gotta go. We just gotta go, um... Holy shit. I actually got a lag spike there for a moment. Actually, that was a that was a little shocking. I normally don't get lag spikes on this game because uh, even on an older laptop like I have with a GTX 1050 uh, Ti graphics card, it still runs games like this very well. Like I normally have no issues. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I I don't know. Why did I do that? <laughs> Actually, no. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna be smart. I'm going to save because I think it's probably for the best. Just in case I manage to fuck up here. We don't want that. No, we do not. you gave last night I thought for sure they'd find you lying dead with a load in your shorts show Chucky how the game is really played boys hold on now I don't recall for sure but I don't think I did that bad in the performance, bro. With the motorcycles and shit. Where'd he go? Wasn't there a dude over here? Bitch. Oh, you're an ass. I'm gonna kill you. Literally die, bro. Now, this is what we do here. Clearly, aim is not on par today, boys. We are, we are dog shit at this game and everything we stand for. Um... Fuck it, you just gotta be aggressive, man. You just gotta... Gotta go for it, bro. Bitch. Bitch. What's up, bitch? Yeah, fuck y'all, bro. <laughs> on a minute. I don't know if it's just me. 
Now forgive me, I don't really like talking during cutscenes. But that that is a load of shit right there. <laughs> There's no way, bro. Did y'all notice that fucking There's no way that happened, bro. Oh my god, I am not good at controlling this right now. Now I could. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, that's uh that's just a given. That I'm gonna fuck that up. You know, it's quite common that I, I mess shit up like that quite often. God damn it. Oh my lord. I can do this, man. I'm, I'm built different. I am literally a, a god at everything I do right now. Need to build up some more momentum. That was a terrible decision right there. That was a... God awful decision. Okay, I might make it on there. I lied. I clearly lied. I'm I'm not built different. You're such a bitch. Oh my god. I'm going to kill every single one of you. If my life fucking depends on it, bro. Right, I'm going to get hit. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. He's, they're gonna slow me down. Oh, please don't, please. Yes, thank God, I thought he was gonna slow me down. Yeah, I would have smoked there, but I normally don't like chewing with my mouth full. Hi, you know what? Did, what the fuck? I literally broke. God, if there was an option to teabag, you'd be my bitch right now, bro. Like I said, I'm going to kill every single one of you. You're all my bitches now. You're all my bitches now. Get over here. Man, I'm dead. That's what y'all are saying right now. Y'all are gonna die. I'm going to kill every single one of you. You're last, buddy. Yeah. I am not playing games with these fellas. Not today. Not at all. Saving survivors will give you lots of prestige points. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Unfortunately, I don't need to worry about priest doing for them. Now, clearly he went to, like, another area and just got off through the ladder. But I remember when I first played this game, I was like, where the fuck did he go? It just goes in a big-ass circle. What is it? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? It was TK. He's the one behind this outbreak. The host of that horrible show? Yeah. He was moving equipment using the trains, but I have no idea what it's for. He's up to something. Something big. This isn't over yet. Chuck, that's gonna have to wait. Katie is going to need more Zalbrek soon. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. I think that's a maintenance tunnel key, right? Yeah, the underground access key. Now... Luckily, we, we don't have to worry about the story, so I can actually, like, 
do some missions, do some shit here and there. Like, I'm going to try to do as much as I can within this little timeline here. And just get the fuck out of here. Gonna just move along, right? This is not the area we started in. This is a completely uh, different area because the bathroom wasn't there. Maybe it was on the other side. I didn't look, but it's definitely not the uh, area. I gotta remember where this is from. South Plaza. Yeah, this is not... Uh, I mean, it's not too far from uh, the area we went in the Atlantic Casino. Where was it? Paradise Plaza or whatever? It's not too far from there. It's just not where we came from. So now I gotta... Hang on one second. Clearly, clearly, clearly. Uh, get away from me. I'm not getting bit today, boys. This ain't how it works. I'm Chuck fucking Green. Okay, I'm gonna get scratched, but I'm not gonna get bit. Can I hop up here? Thank you, thank you. So I can look at this. So, Boomtown. That happens at 10 a.m. We have quite some time until then, so I'm not worried about that. Now, Katie. Gotta give it to her uh, two hours before the mission. So we do have plenty of time. So we're gonna go do Once Bitten. And then we're gonna move along. What is this up here? Oh, it's a pipe. Yeah, I was hoping there was some way to get up here. I don't know. I guess my curiosity just simply got the best of me when it comes to that. And it just kind of showed it really wasn't worth it, was it? But anyway, we're gonna go do the once bitten mission, which uh, we're gonna use Zombrex, which I didn't want to do. Because then I'm going to have to find more or buy more. And, uh... Nobody wants to waste their precious Zombrex in a situation like this. Because, uh, that sucks, man. We gotta save it for our daughter. We gotta keep our, our little kin alive. Our little, our little kiddo. Gotta keep her going. Luckily, in the third game, I believe, uh, she's older. A lot of people talk shit about the third game. I liked it. I think the graphics for Dead Rising 3 were great. I think the story wasn't terrible. Gameplay was fun. I like that you could create combo weapons on the spot. Um, I don't know. I just thought Dead Rising 3 was a lot of fun. Just a lot of people do not seem to like it. You know, I respect their opinions. I'm not going to force somebody to like something that they don't enjoy because it's not my life. I don't control how people feel about it. But I personally enjoy it. I I enjoy beating it. I also, my favorite thing about it is that a lot of the psychopaths are based off of the seven deadly sins. I think it is actually really, really fucking cool that it's based off of the seven deadly sins. You have uh, the embodiment of Lust and Dylan. The dude with the cock flamethrower, if you know what I'm talking about at all. Uh, you got the embodiment of, um... What was it? Fucking... I don't remember what was the one, but there was, like, the fat chick. A sloth, right? No, that wasn't... That, that was the dude who was hiding in his basement, um... I don't know. I don't remember the seven deadly sins. I'm kind of stupid because my memory is not up to par with everyone else's. And uh, ADHD kind of just makes that difficult to remember sometimes because my brain runs at a million miles a second. Especially when I'm in a good mood. Yeah. But it's whatever. It is what it is. Um, I'm really trying to remember what it is. I know there's uh, one for pride... One for, um, sloth, fucking greed. I don't know. I, I really don't. What? I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I came back here for no reason. Because I'm too busy talking about Dead, <laughs> Dead Rising 3 psychopaths, how they're based off of the seven deadly sins. I completely overlooked uh, the mission once bitten that I was supposed to be focusing on. Forgive me for my stupidity. Clearly, 
My brain's not working today. I don't think it ever has been, but... Tis besides the point. I, I miss being able to make videos feeling like this, where I actually felt uh, somewhat happy to be talking. I felt like I had some enjoyment in recording. Because the past few months, when I had that roommate, when I had this, when I had that, I, I was in a state of misery. I was in a state of pure agony. Like, I just wanted to die every single day. I was miserable. The only thing I want to do now to really complete the cycle is I want to get out of FedEx. Uh, because I do not enjoy working at FedEx. Or at least I want to go back to part-time and get a better job. Because FedEx is just kind of screwy. It's not great. Holy shit, bro. You're pushing a chair. Man's hungry. Jesus Christ. No, no, dude. Not so much. I just came here to party and look what happens. You're bleeding pretty bad there. Hey, hey. Fuck you. Anyway. I'm hosed if I don't get Zombrek soon. Game over, dude. Game over. So did you get some? Yeah, I got some. I got some. Get away. Here, let me let me help you out, brother. Let me help you out. Now I gotta I gotta get this man back to the safe house, bro. We gotta gotta keep him going. So let's get this man into a safe place. Oh my goodness. I was stuck on a bench. And we got a new message. We got code blue. Oh, that's good. I can get my Zombricks back. Love that. I think I just got another one, too. Or maybe that's still code blue. I don't know. I gotta look. We'll figure it out. You know, mm -mm. Uh, I want to go take him back because he's injured and I can't really fight with him. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to go do code blue. Because I was going to get them both at the same time, but... I think there's no point when I can't really fight. I mean, obviously I can. I just don't fucking want to. My man is crippled right now. Or uh, not really crippled, but... My man is uh, not in a good state because he's been infected with the virus that the zombies spread by biting or scratching. I think in this game, I don't think it mentions anything about scratches, though. I think it just talks about how if they bite you, then it's uh, game over. You eventually turn. Hold on a second. Fucking phones, man. Fucking phones. Jesus Christ. People calling me all the fucking time. Get off my dick, people. Always got somebody bothering me at all times of the day. You see that shit, YouTube? You see that shit? That is absolutely bullshit trying to record i'm enjoying myself and then people just start blowing up my phone like jesus christ man shit ain't right all right yeah so we're gonna go do code blue i'm gonna get some more zombrex honestly i'm probably gonna go over here and do something real quick though that way I don't have to waste any of the food in my inventory. I'm gonna drink this coffee creamer. Fully heal up. Delicious. Uh, weird things about me. If you get like, um, or... I don't know if I'm the only one. But I actually enjoy the taste of French vanilla coffee creamer on its own. It's really weird, it is, but... Shit, um, I was gonna do Code Blue, but I think that can wait. Tastes Like Chicken is much more worth it right now compared to Code Blue, which we will get. So we're gonna do Taste Like Chicken. That is a mission we're gonna do. We gotta get a Psychopath battle up in this bitch, bro. We gotta, we gotta fight the annoying piece of shit chef that likes to heal himself. He's the only Psychopath in this game. As far as I remember, that likes to heal constantly because he's a fat fuck and he likes to eat too much. Just like me in real life. That's quite sad, ain't it? But I do want to take him on. I want to do that. And then after we get the two survivors, we can get from say, from after beating him. Oh, my God. My mouse. I need to get new AAA batteries. My mouse is dying on me. <laughs> my mouse is... I have a wireless mouse, and it's just utter complete shit, to be honest. 
Well, it's not terrible. It's just, it's just not good. Because I'll be moving around, and it'll just stop functioning. The light's still on. It's not dead. Just, it stops functioning. And that is completely ridiculous. Especially when I'm trying to focus on my game. And I'm trying to have a good fucking time over here. So yeah, Taste of Chicken. It is a pretty annoying psychopath fight. I want to fill the rest of my inventory up with food. Uh, so we're going to go to the little area next to him and grab two more things. And then we're going to head over. Oh my goodness. DDT'd that man. Head exploded and all. Uh, I'm also going to drop this. So maybe we can pick up three items. Or maybe I can break this. Kill a few zombies real quick. Get to the 500 mark. Die. Die. We're almost there. Please don't break on me before 500. Oh my god. Fat lady is hungry. Okay. I just want to hurry up and uh, break this. I don't want to waste it. It has potential to be... There we go. There we go. Now I can get some more weapon. More weapon, more food. That's what I mean. Forgive me. Um, every video I make, I am unbelievably fucking stupid. Barbecued ribs. Now, I think, uh, what is this? Bacon? Bacon. I like bacon. We're going to grab this chicken, though. Got to get that protein. That protein is bussin' bussin' for real, for real. I'm not trying to appeal to a younger audience. I'm trying to make fun of the younger audience, so... Forgive me if I'm cringe. Alright. That's a burn right there. That would kill my ego if I was him, bro. Who the hell would want to eat this? <laughs> oh, shit. I do a ton of damage. This man's like, shit, he hit me once, and I'm already onto the point of tears, bro. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Why do you keep smacking me with the pan, bro? I didn't even need the food, bro. I didn't even need the food. That was just... Oh, my God.
Okay, um... Where did he go? Bro... Where did he go? <laughs> Why is his body not there? That's so sad. Seriously, that would have been so cool if his body would have just stayed there. So, this is Cinda. She's not going to talk to me right away because she knows who I am. Yo. We got to get her buddy. Her little buddy buddy. Yep. You're the one guy on TV that caused all this. Blah, blah, blah. Lady, it wasn't me. I'm being framed. I'm trying to help you here. I'm not coming with you, you terrorist. I'm going to stay here until Jasper finds me here. I can trust him. I'm not moving a foot until he gets here. So, obviously, um, you know. I want my knife gloves. Fuck you. Now, Jasper is just over here. He's really not that far away. It's also super easy to get him to. Uh, he's just up here. So, um, I forgot how easy a lot of these psychopath battles are when you're level 50. And I, I mean that genuinely, because that was, uh, that was a little too easy. That was a little too easy. Might as well have some chicken to celebrate that. Easy number one victory, Royale. It was me and him in the final ring, and he was fried. Hey, didn't think you saw me up there. Blah, blah, blah. Me and Cinda, one of the other barkeeps, were working the Shoal nightclub when the zombie mess happened. We found this safe spot here above the fire, the fifth dumb. But we, uh, excuse me. Cinda went to the... Okay, I'm not reading this shit. I can't read today. Clearly, so I'll let you guys read it. Um... Dressed in a uniform similar to yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's her. That's Cinda. All right, let's get you a weapon, buddy, because uh, if I don't get you a weapon, you're going to end up being... <laughs> when I hand you a weapon, take my weapon! Uh, thanks, but no thanks. My goodness, my goodness. Will you at least take a drill motor? He probably won't take a drill motor, to be honest. Like, I want to see if he takes it. Why are you laughing, you fucking psycho? Stay close. All right, so are you coming, dude? Yeah, you're right there. Keep it moving. Let's go get Sin S S Cinda, Cinda, Cinda. I don't know. I don't care. Shut up, lady. Your voice is annoying as balls. Shut up. Blah, blah, blah. He can take us someplace safe. Only because Jasper, Jasper trusts you. Uh, he trusts me because I'm a real G, bro. Like, I'm the real deal. I'm gonna give you guys weapons. Thank you! He took a weapon! This man's better now. Now I'm gonna give you this because you need a weapon. Now we're going to go do Code Blue and get my Zombrex. Now I'm telling you, Cinda and Jasper... If y'all slow me down by being the stupidest of AI in this game, bro. NPCs, AI, whatever. Do not slow me down or I will kill you myself. And I will not hesitate, bitch. Let's go. I will not hesitate to put this... I will pull a Negan from The Walking Dead. And this is pretty much my Lucille in my hands. I will, I will turn those two into Glenn and Abraham, bro. I will not play around today with this shit. If anyone is a fan of The Walking Dead, I just hurt their spirits. I just hurt their feelings. I just, like, took away their reasons to live by just simply saying that alone. I'm so sorry, but clearly they had it coming. <laughs> that That's fucked up. I can't say that. I love both of them. Abraham was awesome. He, I liked Abraham a lot better than Glenn, but... I like them both. They're both great in their own respective rights. But I, I was a big Abraham fan. Big guy, strong guy. Told Negan to suck his nuts. Shit. Stick to me. Niggas in here, right? Yeah. Stick close. Let him be, bro. It's too late. Quit messing with the plant, Cinda. I just feel so bad. I'm a paramedic. I should have been able to help him. I'm sure you tried as hard as you could. I'm a failure. If I can't be a service in this awful place, I don't know why I should even go on. Look, it's not your fault. You did all you could. But back at the safe house, your help is needed by people who are still alive. There's lots of good. 
Real live people? Okay, we can go. Maybe I can still make a difference or my medical supplies might come in handy. All right, so I'm going to get you a weapon. Bruh. All right, gave that man a pair of scissors. Probably not a good weapon for zombies, but he'll be fine. I'm sure he'll make do with what he has. All right, Cinda, Jasper, and uh, Sven. Is that how you pronounce that? Sven? I think that's how you pronounce that. Y'all come with me. We got shit to do. And then once we do that shit, we get to move on. Gonna get some some of that survivor PP bonus. And we're just gonna be chilling. Sven can help out survivors at the safe house. Cinda can simply exist. And Jasper can simply exist. I don't really think they have a purpose other than just simply existing in the safe house until they get rescued. It is what it is. Gotta take a nice little drink of water here. Keep going. This is great. Stick with me. You always gotta remember to stay hydrated. Always. Now, I'm gonna take these guys out. Yeah, I don't trust the looters. The walk, the zombies are one thing. I must call them walkers. I've been really into the Walking Dead lately, but the looters can be a problem to the survivors, and I'm not taking any risks today. All right, good. We move along now. What are y'all doing, bro? <laughs> Just standing there looking like idiots. I'm sure y'all want to be safe, not sorry. So move your asses. Let's get it going. Or I'm going to kick you all your asses. Because I'm Chuck fucking Green. I can do that. Honestly, I know Dead Rising also has like two movies after it. And people talk shit about those movies too, but I like the movies. I think they were fun. Like they were fun to watch. The story was entertaining in the movies. The zombies were great. You even get to see... I just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro. 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 Literally. Bro, man. I'm not paying attention. I'm talking so much. I mean... Oh, my God, bro. I'm, I'm literally talking and having too much fun talking. And I completely forgot to wait for the survivors to get their asses within the safe house. I am unbelievably fucking stupid. Like, honestly. It's so sad. This candy is still really fucking good, too. Mm -mm. You're welcome. Look at your eyes are bugging out of your head, bro. Thank you, Sven. Woo! That is great. That is fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, what do I do now? Because it's only 1239 at night. And we don't have anything else going on. So I think uh, maybe this is um, a moment to stop the episode. What I'm going to do is instead of like, uh, just cutting the episode and then coming back and having to wait when I come back. I'm going to cut the episode. But I, then I'm going to wait for a few missions to appear. Once those missions appear, I'm going to save and then I'm going to hop off. That way, when I record the next episode, we have shit to do right away. And nobody has to sit here and wait. Or I have to wait and just do a massive cut. Because that's just a waste of my time, and I might as well get it out of the way now. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, or dislike if you didn't. I really don't care. It's your choice. And you don't really have to do any of that if you don't want to. I just hope you enjoyed nonetheless. 
Uh, this was episode four of Dead Rising 2. Best zombie game in existence. We got Mr. Chuck Green. Got blood all over his shirt looking like Sean from Sean of the Walking Dead or whatever you call it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video.